Okay, I want to make some observations between Wisconsin and Washington on the weather, bugs, trees, um, or something else. But there's a stark contrast um, that you'd notice. I spent many, many years in the northern parts of Wisconsin, in Eau Claire, Rice Lake, Chippewa Falls, Menominee. Not so much Menominee, but that just area uh, is, is pretty much the same. I, I think when I was paying close attention to the temperature, there was like a one degree difference between Eau Claire and Rice Lake. We're just tended to be like one degree warmer between the two, and they're 45 minutes apart in driving. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a huge difference between Wisconsin and Washington. And I've been in the northern part of Washington, and then now the uh, more lower uh, southern west, southwest part. And wow, it is so much better in Washington with the stability. Um, I just, I, I just am uh, I'm amazed. There, and while I was in, um, I was homeless in, in Wisconsin for a good solid year. Before that, I, I was homed, uh, like I was a home dweller. But when I was out um, sleeping in my car and stuff in, in Rice Lake, the whole time in that in one that one year span, there was only like one week where the weather was very stable, where it just it stayed and it was nice too. In June, roughly, where it was like mid 60s for a week, and th and that was great. And then uh, after that, it just you know went went all haywire again. Uh, 90 degrees and drops down to 60 for a day and then ju jumps back up to 90 again the next day. You know, one day 90, the next day 60, the next day 90 again. It's just, it's a roller coaster of weather that's difficult to deal with. And it's, it's even worse in the winter. People talk about how bad it is in the winter and it's nine months out of the year. But think the summers too, it's, it's just a huge fluctuation. Year round you're looking at 130 degrees of, of, um, of a wide range in weather between 100 degrees and negative 30. That's, that's, uh, that's normal, normal range for Wisconsin. But in Washington, 50 degrees, all right, tops. Summer times are, are mild, winters are, are a little chilly. They tend not to freeze, they tend not to have those snow and the drifts. If you want that snow, you can go to the Olympic Mountains, you can go to Mount Baker. I mean, there's mountains you can run off to. Um, when you can see the mountains, you can see the snow on the peaks. In Wisconsin, it's, it's, uh, it's forced, the snow is forced upon you everywhere. Um, you have to get used to it. Uh, but you can't get used to those cold nights. The snow can be gotten used to, but the, especially if you have good uh, foot protection against the water and stuff, and then the cold. But uh, that cold, I mean, wow, it's nasty. And that that uh, huge difference in climates really uh, pays a lot of dividends for for changing uh, the, the the landscape into a unique uh, microcosm of creatures and, and life uh, because you, you tend not to to see a lot a lot of, uh, of like wildlife in the winter time and you, that's that's because the the winter is killing off a lot of uh, animals a lot of wildlife the birds and and whatnot that gives the uh, bugs a lot of uh, leeway because they survive the bugs survive the winters okay and I mean I hate to talk about this sounds might sound silly um, but if you don't know Wisconsin you, you won't understand so much but the the bugs are terrible in Wisconsin okay they're just awful all right they're they're non-existent here pretty much in Wisconsin in Washington um, and I think is the difference between uh, the comfortable uh, conditions for for birds. I, th I think the birds might be eating up the mosquitoes, but it also could be the salt marshes. Maybe mosquitoes don't do well in salt marshes, but you you see a huge difference between the 
the bugs, you can't just you can't just walk out into the woods in Wisconsin without getting covered in ticks, attacked by mosquitoes and, and gnats and horse flies. It's just awful. You, you really you need all kinds of protection and stuff. I know, you know, homeless in Wisconsin is awful because the mosquitoes are, are just attacking all directions at this time of year too, late June, and the heat is unbearable, so sleeping in my car to try to protect myself from the mosquitoes and, and then trying to keep cool is a, is a delicate balance. Um, it, I made a blog, I'll put a link in the, in the description, uh, but just to, just to highlight the, the differences, I mean, the, it's just astounding. As far they're both the same distance north of the equator, yet the the Pacific Ocean, I guess you could call that the huge decider on on, on the comfortable comfortability uh, between the two states. There's there there's just a, such a stark contrast. I'm surprised there's not more people living in Washington. I, I'm surprised people really act like they enjoy Wisconsin so much. It's it's hell. There's a cold hell and there's a hot hell, and and the bugs just compound the the issue. Maybe people just don't like being relaxed, and that's why they prefer Wisconsin. I don't know, but it, uh, you notice a difference. Um, and yeah, once again, if you're interested in the blog, I'd I'd recommend reading that. I go into more detail.